was poppin'. Brand new whip just hopped in. I got options. I can pass that. What it do, T-Squad? It's your girl, Keisha, a.k.a. Color Me Pink, and I am here with a brand new behind-the-scenes tea video. I drop videos Monday through Sunday. Everything that I say is for entertainment purposes only and not to be taken seriously, meaning my jokes. So if that works for you, then let's get into this video. Okay, you guys. So I have some hot piping exclusive tea. As you can see by the title of this video, Monique and Chris Samuels will not be on season two of Love and Marriage DC that returns in January of 2023. So Own has started to drop some, you know, teaser commercials, getting, you know, us the viewers prepared for season two. And if you've paid attention, you would notice that Monique and Chris were absent from the commercials. The only couples that were in the commercials thus far were Irena and Jamie and um, Ashley and Quick. We uh, haven't seen Winter in the commercials yet. If she's coming back or any new couples yet. I'm guessing they might save that for the full official trailer. But nonetheless, the Jasmine brand reported today that they have exclusive tea that Monique and Chris will officially not be returning for season two. This is what the Jasmine brand had to say. Sources tell us that the reality star and her husband Chris Samuels are not returning for the new season of Love and Marriage DC. We're told that they didn't film anything for season two and sources also tell us that the decision not to return was totally Monique and Chris's. The non-scripted series on OWN follows three successful couples through their business and personal lives in the DC, Virginia, Maryland era area on season one the tv personality who is also a radio personality and chris a former nfl star were joined by their friends irena and jamie tyler along with ashley silver and her husband dj quick silver now i know that some of you may be wondering well if they decided to quit the show on their own and they weren't fired then why did they quit the show is it because they're having marital problems it is it other cast members well i can quell any of those suspicions as far as it being a situation where she doesn't get along with the cast, that in fact is not true. She is still very good friends with all of the ladies on the show, I think except for Winter. I haven't really seen them communicate with one another, but on her birthday, October 9th, as you can see in this video, she was accompanied by Tasha Ashley, Annie Rayner, as well as fellow YouTuber DJ Richie Sky. So the girls on this show are not the issue. So we can X that whole notion out. Now, if you're wondering, is it her marriage? Because you know, about two months ago, it was reported that she and Chris were separating and getting a divorce. They quickly debunked those rumors by showing that they are still very much together. Were they having some troubles? Yes, they were, but they were working through them. And I can report as of today, as I'm filming this video, Monique and Chris, along with their kids, are on vacation celebrating their youngest baby, Chase's birthday. And they look to be having a wonderful time. They also just attended Portia's wedding together, looking fabulous as ever. So take a look at this footage of them on their family vacation.
honey. He been out here whistling at me all morning. Look how brave he is. Look how brave he is. Hi. Are you sent by T'Challa? Here, you can have it. You so cute. It's okay. I'm not, not going to bother you. You can have it. I promise I won't hurt you. It's all right. Here you go. Go ahead. Oh, you're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> He's adorable. He's been out here whistling at me all morning. He is too cute. Oh, y'all know I love birds. I know. There you go. It's okay. It's all right. Oh, he took it out of my hand. <laughs> Look at running. <laughs> I done made a friend. Aw, I think T'Challa sent him for me. There might be T'Challa looking out. Oh, that's so sweet. That just made my day. Now, on the marital front, they seem to be doing okay right now. That doesn't, however, mean that when they started filming for season two, that they were doing okay. Remind you that I did say that Monique and Chris, when the uh, tabloid reports came out that they were getting a divorce, said that they were struggling. They were going through some things, but they're doing much better at this point. They were in counseling and really working on themselves and their marriage. So maybe after filming season one, they decided to take a step back to work on their marriage and not focus so much on a reality television show, which if that is the case, that is a smart thing to do. That's the best thing to do for their marriage and their family. And I don't blame them for that because money and fame aren't everything. If the basis of your you know, life is your husband and your children and keeping your family together and vice versa on from Chris's aspect. So I don't blame her if that's the reason why she and her husband decided not to come back. I don't know. It could be something else that we don't know anything about. Hopefully it's not a rift between her and Carlos. I don't know. Not saying that that is, but you never know. Now I can give you all some exclusive tea that I myself know that Tasha and Neil from season one, they were friends to the show. I interviewed them. If you have not seen that interview, check out all of my interviews of the cast uh, from the cast of season one of Love and Marriage DC. I interviewed Tasha and Neil, Ashley Silva, as well as Irena and Jamie Tyler. Um, but Tasha and Neil were not as backed, but the gag is they weren't even told to their faces over the phone. They had to find out that they were not coming back via a cast member. Now that's some shady shit right there. Shady shit. Until this day, they have not been reached out by production to let them know that they were not coming back for season two. Now that is fucked to the up. Okay. So take with that as you may. So I can't wait to see who is exactly going to be on season two of the show. Um, I wonder is winter coming back um, now that Monique and Chris aren't on the show for season two. Obviously, they will be replaced with someone else. Who do you all think that it could be? Are there any um, former reality show stars in the DC Maryland area that could be on the show or any celebrities or anything from that era uh, area that would be a great replacement for them. Any of my DC Maryland folks, let me know down below in the comment section. And then I also wonder, is it a thing where Monique and Chris decided just to step back for this season and that they'll be back for season three if they get picked up? Who knows? I guess at some point we will get a statement from Monique and Chris um, about why they not they're not returning. I know that on Monique's Instagram page, she no longer has a Love and Marriage DC um, handle or anything on her page. So ooh, I don't know, child. Are y'all even still interested in season two now that Monique and Chris aren't on this show? Um, you know that I said I felt like season two, they needed to pick it up. They needed more drama added to the show so they're gonna need another couple on this show that's gonna get it popping you know what i'm saying and 
Monique and Chris just wasn't getting it popping season one, to be honest with you. I'm just saying. Um, so I hope that winter comes back. I really liked winter on the show. So yeah, let me know down below in the comment section. Will you all be tuning in to season two of Love and Marriage DC? Who do you think would be a great replacement for Monique and Chris? And what do y'all think about production? Not even telling Tasha and Neil that they were not coming back for season two, child. That is some fool wang there let's talk down below you guys make sure to thumbs up this video like and subscribe and hit that notification bell button i love you guys and i will see you on the next video bye